gotten some more information pertaining to Star Citizen Alpha 3.24.2, specifically the feature list. It's tough. Before we get into this video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. It's only a few days away. As I'm recording, I'm getting more subscribers. Appreciate you guys for subscribing. Let's just get straight into this. All right, guys. So the very first, uh, um, just to let y'all know, this is all leaked information. So just take everything that's said in this video with a grain of salt. It might be true. It may not be true. Partly implemented, fully implemented. Who knows? All right. So just take everything said in this video with a grain of salt. So this is a list uh, that um, the Pipeline Discord channel was able to extrapolate from the current 3.24.2 build that was released last night only for a few hours okay so um it says here it is a category general and it says here there is new lighting and post processing new music i've heard some of the music and they sound pretty cool so um can't wait to finally see how it dynamically plays when we're in the pu i would prefer all this new stuff to come with pyro um, but who knows when we'll get that, right? <laughs> um, ship systems, um, as well as new MFDs, MFD casting. So that's what we've seen in the recent Inside Star Citizens, where you can cast um, uh, all the uh, certain screens onto your helmet HUD. Um, so um, I really like that. I, I like I like to be able to have more options when it comes to the UI. So that's nice radar optimeter um power management so we've seen that in inside star citizen we can expect um that to be in this build new master mode tuning it says component rebalance jump drives so jump drives are actually going to be a physicalized component now finally in the game so that's super exciting um and hopefully the next major patch after this will be actually using our jump drives so, so what i'm curious about is what will be the difference between the various jump drives that they will introduce um hopefully there's some differences and um that will allow us to want to pick and choose okay so next it says bullet penetration through ships to disable components fuses for more ships so in the previous build the a2 crusader starlifter a2 is the only ship that essentially had fuses installed so now they've uh, expanded this into more ships to have the fuses in preparation for stars alpha 4.0 with engineering gameplay so that is expected um it also says here non-interactable fire extinguisher stations so now i'm not sure if this this should come with engineering gameplay but I don't think uh, they're actually going to enable these um, until 4.0. But um, I'm not surprised that they're, we're starting to see these in the ships now. Next, it says coolant, cooler power management control. And it says life support without controls from engineering, which allows venting out air by opening doors to space and by powering down life support, which changes the O2 in temperature. Power life support refills and stabilizes temperatures all of this stuff in preparation for stars off 4.0 honestly man i think cig may pull pull off a 4.0 release by the end of the year probably in a ptu format or tech preview format hopefully they do leave it out throughout the entire uh during the break as well for us to play um reason being is with the tech preview that they're doing with server meshing they pretty much has it nailed down in terms of um, having around 200 to 500 players, the servers did behave uh, stable. But right now, what they're doing is they're testing the limits of the tech. So worst case scenario, CIG can release a 4.0 build um, in P2 format and just do um, 100 players or 200 players, um, wh whether it's for Stanton or and uh, 200 players for um, Pyro. And then just mesh the two through the jump gates so we can traverse between the two and they can have a port 4.0 build there if they release that i think will be fine i don't think anybody will complain about that as long as we get pyro to be quite honest because this is what everybody is expecting and they can improve this um, as they go on okay so let's continue um it says here ui menus it says new arena commander ui 
um, star map changes with more zoom range. Maybe for additional systems, can completely zoom out of Stanton transitioning into a higher level, which makes sense. With 4.0, we're going to need to be able to zoom out of Stanton and also see and zoom in into Pyro and other star systems. So um, it seems like they're going to be introducing the star map or the system map or the galaxy map. I think it's called Arc or something like that in uh, on the, the um, CIG website. It seems like we're going to be seeing that in the game finally so that'll be pretty cool next it says um smoother qt possibly let's jump in with smoother acceleration deceleration timed with new dynamic music so that's interesting next is items it says multi-tool ui changes might be batteries and it crashes when they're using it so of course it's broken and i don't think these are even meant to be uh in this functioning in this build anyways so but that's interesting to see um the paar which uh, we already spoke about in the previous video uh citizen con armored flight suits we already mentioned that control ui says here better controller support uh button prompts mouse control panels automatically put a mouse cursor in the center to click visuals focus mode for terminals improved skybox and new quantum symbols interesting next is the character customizer they have new stubbles new hair tattoos piercings and new face scans as they said they would fauna and planner it says um we may see the kazar grazer I think they already said that they will, we will see this in, in, in this build, I think. Um, so I'm not surprised with this one. All right, so um, they also went further into it and filed some XML files pertaining to Vandal attacks. So um, will we be seeing Vandal finally in Star Citizen? We'll have to see, but they do have this XML file that um, shows the different attacks that the Vandal can do. So there's melee, there is downward strike lance struck there is a headbutt uh kick strike there is a punch lance strike quick slash um side strike slow slash high kick long thrust um single kick so that's interesting will we see vandal finally in the game i don't think it'll be in this build but um, it seems like CIG is slowly adding these features into it. My question is, once we take down a Vandal, can we loot the armor? Can we loot their weapons? I would like to see um, those armors and actually collect them. That would be actually pretty cool. Up next here says Argo CSV. Um, I'm not sure if this is a new vehicle or it could be a typo where it's the um, Argo SRV or S the i think that could be the one that's already in the the, the tow truck one right is it an srv or something like that um but this might be a totally new vehicle that's uh coming down the pipeline we'll have to see it seems like they found some more details within the xml files pertaining to worms so these could be the giant worms that we've seen a long time ago and it seems like there's going to be different types there's going to be adult ones there's going to be an apex which is probably going to be the most dominant one and there's going to be uh, juvenile versions and they all have different attack types all right so they have ground impact they have they all have ground impact um attack i think no projectiles so they can shoot projectiles into the ground probably trying to attack a player it seems like take what you will with this one i'm not too sure <laughs> about it um once again these are leaks right so um just take all of it with a grain of salt um let's see what more what more are they adding here the drake cutter mfds are looking good they also say that the star map the skybox the skybox itself is looking um a lot better than what we have in live so this is going to be stanton so curious to see how this will look and big surprise the rsi zeus is finally in the build it seems like and um that's pretty cool it seems like it's finally in the build super exciting 
stuff all right so that's what we're going to cover so far in this video we will be getting more so make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any new updates pretending to start off with 3.24.2 before I let you go, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you're interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.